Hey guys, this video is going to be $5 vegan eats from non-vegan restaurants. Our first stop is the Thinking Cup Cafe and uh, it looked like this on the inside. It had a ton of vegan options like a snickerdoodle cookie and this chocolate biscotti. They actually have a ton of dairy-free options online. I will throw a list right here and what I got was the snickerdoodle cookie and it looks like this. I'll show you. The cookie was a little mini size. It was smaller than my palm. Okay, let's try it. This cookie was actually super delicious. It tasted like a cake and a cookie together. Super moist and chewy. It wasn't dry at all. The people inside the store were really nice. They were really patient with me when I asked what their dairy-free options were. And the atmosphere it was a super cute place to hang out or just get some work done. And value-wise, I would probably rate it like a 5 out of 10. No offense, but the cookie was like really small and it was 316. Our next stop is in Downtown Crossing at the Corner Food Court, and it's going to be at sushi time. First time sushi was actually amazing value. I got two big spring rolls that were only $3, and this miso soup for $2.25. Let's go and see if this is actually good now. Oh my god, I'm excited! And the portion sizes are actually big. Okay, let's try. Okay, so I started getting nervous and chewing like a cow, so please don't judge me. However, the spring roll was good. Like, you could tell by the look on my face. Like, I was feeling this. Oh, my God. It tasted like any other spring roll you would get, except you could tell it was freshly made. And I would say the atmosphere, however, is probably a 2 out of 10. They had an indoor food court, but it was not cute. Health-wise, this is like a 4 out of 10 because it is rice, flour, and noodles, and that's not the best. The soup was amazing. It tasted like any other miso soup you would get at any store. I really couldn't tell the difference. You could see like the little tofu pieces and the seaweed so you could like chew on it while you eat your soup. And honestly, it was like 30% actual food, 70% water. But a 10 out of 10 for health, like hello. This is what we passed on our way to our next stop, which is like this cute place with compartments in a whole entire circle. It made me feel like I was in a movie set. But we finally made it to our end destination, JP Works. And this store actually had a ton of dairy-free vegan options. They had ice creams that were dairy-free, as I'll show you right here. They even had a cookie that was vegan, so you could literally buy two packaged cookies and make your own ice cream sandwich. And on top of that, they even had a whole entire selection of dairy-free drinks. This is what I got. They had pumpkin spice fall flavor. They also had... Okay. I'm just gonna do this as a voiceover, but oh my god! Okay. Five dollars for fourteen cents. If you get the kitty size, it's only three ninety nine. And let's try it out. Okay, so for price, I would say this is probably a 5 out of 10, not to be mean. It's just that I know that if you go to the store and go to Ben & Jerry's, you can get the same exact price for maybe double this. And you have more flavors, more options, but overall the atmosphere is pretty cute. They are closed for dining, but they have three benches that you can sit on, and it's very, very cute. I uh, would say the customer service is maybe like a 6 out of 10. I know that they're nice people, but they also could improve on that as well. I'm kidnapping you and taking you with me on this beautiful walk that I had after my ice cream. I feel like the world has so much beauty for us to enjoy and experience and I hope that we don't miss out on it on our way to get some snacks. So the place we're actually at was Charles River and I was just trying to show you that it's beautiful. You should hang out, you know, go on a date here and live your best life here. And, uh, Thank you yeah. so much for watching. I really hope that you guys enjoyed. If you could leave a like, a subscribe or a comment, I'd really appreciate that. And please let me know what you like next.